Ladies and gentlemen, this is the encourager from the Encouraging Vessels web um, site. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for a wider reach of the messages. I am here simply to encourage you. That is the purpose of this channel, to encourage you, to encourage you in the Lord, be it to prepare physically as in stocking up on items or to encourage you in the Lord to reach out to the Most High. Today I bring you a brief message on distractions and distractions what i'm speaking on today is idols and i'm just singling out one distraction one um item there are many idols in our lives and um many times we don't even realize that they're idols so in my quiet time a few days ago with the Lord, this is what he placed in my heart, on my heart. And um, I'm coming to you with it to encourage you to, to allow your eyes to be opened so you can make edits, corrections, whatever you call it. I'm encouraging you and these encouragements are going out because the Lord has commissioned me to do so. None of us will have an excuse. None of us can turn and say, I didn't know, I didn't hear. This channel is not about the numerous likes, though that is good uh, for the algorithm, but the Lord made me understand it's not about that. Because these messages, they are stored here for whomever and whenever, and I know that they will be seen. Okay, so today it's about distractions, idols, and there are multiple distractions presented to us every day, every day. Bearing in mind that we are in a world that is literally run by Satan. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the master of the wind. He is the master of the rain and all that. And he governs, governs. But we're in a sinful world and there are multiple distractions that are presented to us every day. And if we're not careful, we will become embalmed in them. We have to be sober and many times we get thrown into traps. Now, the voices of distraction, they're overwhelming. And so it is of very, it is of great importance that we try the spirit to discern that which is from the most high. There are many videos going out on YouTube, many videos many different things, many videos um, supposedly about the most time, many videos supposedly about the end times, but it is up to you to do your research, to get in the Bible and match everything up. You know, I get on there and there's people that I've followed before and I'm just clicking off them right now. I'm unsubscribing because I listen and I see what they're saying and it is not lining up with the Bible and the Bible is my foundation. So I encourage you to do the same. Yes, there are good messages there and there are truth there, but you literally have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit speaks, the Holy Spirit tells you because I've asked and he has literally said stuff to me about I've gone on and I'm like, what about this person? And he has 
literally told me, like with scripture, this is what's happening. So it's up to you. Do not allow yourself to be distracted. Pay attention. Because the enemy comes in various forms. The con I mean, he conditions himself to blend in with our situations. So he's, he's subtle. Thereby, he is successful. I mean, I wish I didn't have to say that. But he is successful in deceiving us because at some point in time, every one of us have been deceived. So therefore, we must be watchful. I encourage you. One of the largest avenue that I find that the enemy uses as a distraction is social media. Social media, there's so many pockets to it. Social media, it is one of the largest avenue that he uses. And I suspect that this is the greatest trap that he has in place for humanity. Think about it. Think about it. This trap, it, what it does, it just widens the mouth of deception. And if you are aware, you can see that the pit of deception is enlarged in every day. Social media, it is an idol. And if we are not careful, or it is a tool, but if we are not careful, we will allow it to become an idol in our lives. And this is one, I believe this is one of the greatest trap Satan has for humanity. It is a great, it, it, it is a great addiction it is the struggle to let go is very real because this has been created and we have been conditioned over the years when this was birthed and so now it is clothed in necessity it is clothed in necessity but you got to be wise you've got to be smart we must let go. We must let go. And that is where you will find freedom. Freedom is in Jesus Christ. I've got a couple of scriptures that I would like to touch on here. And the first one is in 1 John. And just a cup, just brief scriptures. I'm just, I just want to bring to you. I do encourage you to get in the word. This is your manual, your instruction manual. So first John five, verse 21, the very last verse, it says, little children, keep yourselves from idols. This is not like just a statement this is a warning keep yourselves from idols the phones yes like i said social media is wrapped up in necessity for us in this present age many of us don't have a landline for a phone anymore we have our cell phones we have our laptops or tablets. And with this um, sickness, pestilence that's going around, your laptop or your Chromebook or your tablet for those that are working at home and children that are learning at home. It, is, it has become a necessity 
more so than before. So the warning here is little children, keep yourself from idols. Be watchful, be careful, okay? Um, the next scripture that I have is um, Deuteronomy chapter four. And I'm in verse 39, and it says, Know therefore this day, and consider it in thine heart, in your heart, that the Lord, he is God in heaven above and upon the earth beneath. There is none else. There is none else. So our worship or adoration is to the most high only. And now when we pull other things in ignorantly and they become an idol, we're not given worship or adoration to the most high. Know that the Lord, he is God in heaven above and upon the earth beneath, and there is none else. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. That is a warning, especially in these days. Um, one final scripture I have. Let me see if I'm going to... One final scripture. I'm, I'm, I'm in 1st John chapter 4. And I'm going to read verse 14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. The Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is the door. He is the Savior. Man cannot save you. Simple man like myself. Simple man like the person beside you. We cannot save each other. No matter what mainstream is telling you right now. There is only one Savior. And his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is only one Savior. And they're out there telling you that this is to save you. Distractions, ladies and gentlemen. Distractions. Distractions. There is only one savior and it's not mankind. No matter what titles they have, no matter what, um, let's say authority figure that they are, they're not the savior for you because they can't even save themselves. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is the Savior. And I'm here today to encourage you to be aware of the distractions that are there. Be sober. Final scripture. Acts chapter 4, verses um, 10 through 12. This is Peter speaking. It says, be it known unto you all 
That includes us. A lot of times people read the scripture, they think it's just for back in the days. No, it's current. The Bible is, it is historical, but it is also current. So Acts chapter 4, verses 10 through 12, it says, Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. I am encouraging you, and I am telling you, they cannot save you. Man creates the problem and creates the solution, supposedly. They cannot save you. Distractions. Be sober. Be vigilant. The idol, social media, is there clothed in necessity even as I'm using it to speak to you we must be careful not to idolize it anyone or anything I trust these words reach you and you are encouraged to jump in the word Jump in the word, be alert, be sober, be vigilant. Only Jesus Christ of Nazareth can save you. He's the only one that saves. And his saving is not temporary. It's permanent. But you've got to do your part. Be aware of the distractions. They cannot save you. They will not save you. It's clothed in, I am your savior. It is a distraction. Be blessed. Don't forget to hit the share, the like, and subscribe button. This is the encourager from the Encouraging Vessel, encouraging you to be awake. Be blessed.